Yep, that is right. I am going to be dropping anime reactions. This is not a bait. I am no longer doing anime reactions. And instead, we are now a anime commentary channel. A little bit of a bait, but let me explain to you. In this video, I will explain to you exactly the logic in why I decided to pause and continue to pause and give reactions that apparently a lot of people enjoy, but few people hate. So first things first. Let's talk about one of the main important things of why people say you shouldn't pause, let the whole video go through, and talk about that shit at the very end. All your thoughts. First of all, that's a stupid thing to do looking at this graph. What are you looking at? You are looking at the engagement for this video called Classroom the Elite Season 2 Episode 12 Reaction a long time ago. When I did the same method of this would be the reaction portion. I would not pause. I would give my entire intro recap section here and then the entire review analysis. But can you look at this chart and tell me why that strategy won't work? Yes, majority of people are not clicking on a reaction for the actual commenter to reaction. They're just lonely idiots that just wants to watch an anime with someone else. They cannot appreciate the commentary. That's why they're getting fucking mad at. Thank you, Judah, for the tier one sub, man. This is the discussion part. So your suggestion that you can simply just package the review and the intro stuff at the end is going to work out? No, it will not. The video is packaged as a reaction. They're here for the reaction. They don't give a fuck about the review analysis. And then if you're going to go say, well, that's just because your content's bad. Fuck you. My content's not bad. This graph over here shows the other strat. Literally ask most other people. Aren't, most YouTubers are not going to be as transparent as me and show you the analytics. But I guarantee you, every fucking channel that does the same method of doing a reaction in the middle and then having an intro and a recap at the end, the engagement bar is just going to look like this. It's not going to be the same. And in terms of YouTube analytics, this is terrible. Look at this gray section here, right? This gray area is the expected range. If you're not hitting that, you're fucking up. A better way to do this is to literally go play-by-play -play analysis and look at the engagement bar. It is way more evened out. This is for the ReZero reactions. And so first of all, I've answered why it's stupid to wrap up that section at the very end. It's better to do a play-by-play -play analysis. Also, when you're doing a play-by-play -play analysis like me, you're able to come to uh, your thoughts uh, immediately and say it because by the time that you go to the end, you'll have forgotten what to say. Right? You'll have forgotten what to say, and it's not going to be the same as, Oh, I remember this part. Let's talk about that. I think pausing is also one of the smartest things you can do as a reaction channel if you actually have anything worth to say and hear me out. On the game of YouTube, what matters is how long people watch the video, right? A, how many views did this video get? This video got 9.4K views, and it's earned about $21, right? But it's also a 48 minute video. Another video, a one minute video getting 9.4K views is not the same, not even at all, because you don't get served the ads. As you watch the video, you're gonna keep getting ads, more opportunities to get ads. The longer you watch the video, the more money you can make. So by me incorporating pauses into the video to talk about the sections, not only am I able to highlight my commentary and anal analysis at specific moments to make the content more engaging for that audience, it also makes the watch time longer by default. This method is the objectively best way to farm YouTube anime reactions if you are a yapper like me. Now, if you have nothing better to say, if you're not a yapper like me and you feel awkward, then there's no point, right? You're now pausing for the sake of pausing. You don't have anything actual valuable to say. People will simply skip over that section and not even watch it. That defeats the purpose of making the video long. If people aren't watching, they're not getting served the ads. You wasted your time trying to stretch the video out long, but at the end of the day, it's counterproductive. And another thing is this. Think about the demographic, the audience. Do you think that, okay, when you're trying to make money on YouTube, one of the most important things is the demographic, right? This RPM here is a pathetic number for me compared to other niches. Because this means for every 1,000 views, you earn $2.35. And for 9.3K views, you do the math and that's how this number is made roughly, right? And what determines RPM? Variety of factors. 
One of the factors I just explained about how if you keep watching the video for a long time, right, more ads you're served, the higher the RPM is going to be. But besides that, it also has to do with the audience, right? If you have an audience that is, you know, from mostly from the United States, you're going to get a higher RPM due to getting served ads in those countries where the currency is higher. If you get served ads in these areas, I'm sorry, guys. This is I don't hate you. I love my Philippines, Indonesia, and India, right? But let's get real, your currency is not the USD. That's why the RPM is going to be lower in the anime uh, in, 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 if your audience is mainly there. And on top of that, the behave, the actual, like, uh, what's it called? Like, what kind of person you are, right? Let's look at the breakdown of the audience, right? Not everyone is the same. If you have a finance channel and you make videos towards, like, business professional elites of America, they're going to get served different ads. They're not going to get fucking Genshin Impact ads like you, right? They're going to get separate ads, which is much more profitable. So what do we know now? We know that in order to get more money, you need people to watch it for as long as possible. You need to be mainly from a good demographic area where the currency is high. And you need a mature audience. This is the most important part. Mature audience that are actually grown professionals and not just children because you cannot profit off of children. They get served stupid ads. It's fucking stupid. So now let's bring that all back to the pausing idea. Is it in my best interest to make videos with full in-depth commentary analysis that caters towards a more older audience, a more mature audience that are not kids that probably has a fucking credit card to swipe on the Patreon or cater towards fucking annoying kids that can't appreciate the commentary? Do you know what I'm saying? Not only does the pausing increase the engagement of the video to make them watch for longer, the style of my commentary and reactions also caters towards an older, mature audience that can appreciate that shit rather than kids just clicking on big booty girls or just watching hype scenes and dudes yelling. Everything that I'm doing is intentional and has a strategy. I've explained to you exactly what these strategies are. And another point that I'm going to talk about now is the lack of immersion. I thought about this for a second. Of course, if I pause to talk it, you watching the reaction cannot be immersed as you watching the episode by itself. But let me tell you something, motherfucker. You're not here to be immersed at the anime. I'm the one that's supposed to be immersed and give you the commentary and reactions and you're here for my takes about your favorite moments. A lot of people, a lot of dumb kids and this is a very vocal minority. I think that like 98% of my audience watching me never complains about the pause. In fact, they want me to pause. Go look at the other video and look at the comments. Everyone is so happy that I paused and I've created a community that enjoys that style. But there's this few people that don't actually understand the point of these videos, right? And that's why I kind of said, this is no longer an anime reaction. It's an anime commentary channel, right? You're not supposed to be immersed watching the reaction, dumbass. That's me. I'm the one supposed to be immersed by looking at the anime in the way that I want to look at and for me to then give you my takes and opinions of specific moments that you're then supposed to be there for. Again, a lot of people have this misconception of what a reactions video is supposed to be because they've been fed, and I'm sorry, garbage reactions on YouTube. You know what the saddest thing is? Quite often, people come into my channel and say, I think you're the best reactor ever. I look at that comment and I'm like, this is so sad because me simply knowing the characters' names, me simply understanding the plot and trying to theory craft, the standard of bar of anime reaction on YouTube is so low. People think I'm a god reactor because I know the plot. There's so many channels out there that sees how profitable anime reactions can be. They figure out the system and they pump out garbage content. There is no passion. You can see that they don't give a fuck. And that's why I decided to do this shit. I used to watch a lot of One Piece reactions. Quite often. You know what I said? I said, I want you to fucking talk about my favorite moments, but nobody is doing it. They're just glossing over it. There's no love or passion poured into this. It's a soulless fucking grind. And I'm like, I'll take it upon myself. I'm going to create my own goddamn reactions that I want to watch. And I've created a community that prefers this type of commentary, that prefers this. Not only in terms of business strategy, in terms of the engagement being full, right? The demographic catering towards an older audience to the commentary, right? I talked about how that's optimized. I also yap a lot and I think the strategy suits me rather than me trying to talk over the anime. It is the most optimized version of the episode. And on top of that, 
The Patreon videos, I think, is less disruptive because obviously for YouTube reactions, there is editing and cuts that goes into it. So it's going to seem more disruptive. But Patreon is a different experience and you're supposed to figure that out too later on. But these are the reasons why I will never stop pausing. These are the reasons why I think pausing to give anime reactions is better. There are so many reactions out there, again, in a 10 to 12 minute frame where people don't pause and talk, right? And there's nothing wrong with that format. If you actually care about the commentary, then people will watch it. It's just I think I can do it better in a different way that's better suited towards me. It's working out. And again, what matters at the end of the day? Monk random monkeys opinions on the YouTube comment sections or a literal fucking chart that shows me that I have a winning strategy I am literally averaging 1.3 million views per month right now. That's not even doing shorts. It's all long form content. You can look on Social Blade of public data of monthly viewership. Literally check any other fucking reaction channel around my sub range. Do a ratio of what, you know, nearly 20k subs and 1.3 million, you know, is compared to other channels. And you'll see that I am on another fucking level right now. And this isn't me ego tripping or being narcissistic. I'm telling you that I have a winning strategy that I've carefully crafted after failing over and over again. And I have a winning strategy. I know what I am doing. You don't know what you're doing. You are a monkey that have no idea what the video is even supposed to be. And you tell me that I should just play the video. Listen, if you want to watch the fucking reactions the way that you want to, just watch the episode by yourself. I'm here to actually give a fuck and make the videos that I want to make. And I've created a community based on my around my interests. I'm going to continue to do that. And I will fucking define a separate meta of these yapping fucking reactions. I know I'm not the first one to pause and do it, but I'm going to continue to do it. And these are the reasons. I hope you understand my logic. Even if you don't like the reaction, just stop watching. But at the very least, I have given you a little statistical analysis, giving you direct examples and the logics that goes on behind the scenes of creating YouTube videos. Just remember, I know what I'm doing. Everything is data driven, tested. Every day I try to innovate and think about what I could do better. And of course, all criticism aren't just hate. Sometimes there's valid criticism, but most of the times monkeys don't know what they're talking about. And I'm making a video like this to show you that I know what I'm talking about.